Right then, I'm uh, fishing again for those of you that saw my status. Um, I said I was coming out. It's now uh, 12 o'clock on Monday the 9th of July. Um, I probably got here whew, um, two, three hours ago. Um, but I've only got the rods properly out um, about 20 minutes ago. Because uh, one of the rods from last session at Miners, I had loads of fish uh, needed to um, be all sort of set up again with the tubing and things. Um, so as I was doing that, I had a run on the left rod, struck into it, and almost instantly line snapped. Uh, all I can think of is all them fish and um, just sort of bunging the rod on the floor in that last session, uh, weakened the line. So I actually then had to set up two rods um, with anchor rig tube. And if you've ever had to do that tube and stuff, you know it's a pain in the ass. Uh, so I had to do it with two rods, set them all up. Uh, finally, rods both out, and uh, we're fishing. Uh, again, for those of you that have got me on Facebook, know that I've just got a new lens so um, I can now do some more zoom filming um, sort of for casting showing spots I'm fishing and uh, yeah just generally more filming opportunities so um, 12 o'clock rods are out and uh, lost one fish there's a bloke down on the corner on the pole he's had a few one person right of the style swim and someone's just turned up and gone at the top so uh, not many people here, obviously because it's a Monday. So um, I'm here till the end, 9.30, because uh, I haven't got any other plans. So uh, hopefully you have a nice few fish in the evening and a few in the day if we can. Just to say the spots I'm fishing. Uh, I'm fishing mid-water, you can tell I'm often uh, in these swims. I've got one towards that tree, mid-water about here. And the other one is about here, well about where that just came up. So. Uh, Spots of fishing. On the right rod, I've got single boily pineapple boily with pop up corn. Left rod, I've got a pineapple wafter on. So uh, let's just hope we pick one up soon because it's uh, quite quiet in this one. There we are, fish number one finally came off the right rod as you were. Uh, so, probably about nine, ten pound. Put up a good fight and um, didn't want to come in. Every time he saw me, he shot back off again, not surprising. So, uh, lovely fish. Getting back and hopefully have some more of them. First yeah, one is the, what I just had that fish on. So I'm putting out again, there's six boilies in there. My one's chopped up and uh, it's got a little pop up corn with it as well, red pop up corn. Let's flick it back out. Here we are then, fish number two, same rod. This one's a bit bigger, probably about 13 pound. It's quite a broad fish, big head on it. I can see this is growing to be quite a big fish, actually. Um, good condition, the mouth is perfect. I think it's one of the first times it's been caught, if not the first. So that's two fish on the pineapple boilie and red pop-up corn. Lovely, getting back. Well, they don't come much prettier than that. That's one of the stockies that I uh, keep catching. They're normally about six pounds. This one's probably about eight or nine. The size of the belly on it, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But um, put up a little scrap. But it's such a pretty fish. And because they're fairly new, they haven't got all the mouth damage that some of the older ones have. Lit just pristine looking fish. Beautiful. And that's fish number three. I I'm just really happy to see how much weight these stockies have put on, or at least this one has. He's doing well, he'll grow up to be a nice big fish. If you look at the scales on them, they will look lovely when they're bigger. Let's get him back. Here we are then, fish number four. Probably about 15, 16 uh, pound. It's uh, another broad fish. It's still lively on the mat. But a uh, lovely, lovely fish. One hell of a fight, it's so powerful. I was literally using all my strength to pull him out of the margins. Rod was bent double and it just kept on going and going. Um, stuck into it, didn't feel like much, but eventually it kited round and shot down the margin, probably about 20 yards of line. Unstoppable. So, uh, lovely. Let's get him back. 
if we have some more. Here you are then, these are uh, the smallest catch cart bags that you can get. And it's perfect for what I'm doing right now. I'm getting bikes on these little bags every single time. It's, it's literally, I'm casting out, it's about 5-10 minutes later, I'm getting touches and beeps and runs. I saw I just lost one, but that's exactly how I've been fishing it. And every single fish I've had today has come off this setup, this bait and these bags. Let's just get them out. There we are then, fish number five came off the right rod. It's probably been about three, three and a half hours since I've had a fish. A lovely, probably about 10 pound linear, um, as you just saw. Let's see if we can hold them out once more. Lovely, it's about time we had another fish and uh, put a pretty good fight. Absolutely screamed off, had a bit of a trouble with the uh, captive back lead, but got it untangled eventually. So uh, let's get him back. Right then, it's uh, quarter to seven. Uh, no more fish since the last one you saw, it's been quite quiet in the swim. Just had one little blip on the uh, right rod, but nothing else. Um, I've been trying to take pictures of a kingfisher that keeps flying up and down, so I've pretty much been concentrating on that more than my fishing, but still uh, no more fish yet. So hopefully we'll have some soon, because as it's getting towards the evening, or it is the evening now really, uh, the fish should start feeding more um, to follow the usual trend. If not, then, oh well, I've had a few fish, I've had five fish, uh, so I'm happy with that. But it'll be nice to have a few more towards the end now, so uh, let's hopefully just have some. There we are then, fish number six, came off the right rod again, absolutely belted off, one toner, and uh, that's the result, probably about eight pound, eight pound common, still wriggling on the mat, so let's get him back, brilliant. There we are then, fish number seven, I was literally just putting that other fish back, and uh, the left rod went off, finally I've on the left rod, so I've had loads of them on the pineapple boily with uh, red pop of corn, this one came on the pineapple wafter, uh, probably about seven pound tops, so uh, lovely fish anyway, let's get him back.
There we are then, fish number eight. Oh, an absolutely gorgeous fish. Dark top, orange belly, complete linear. That is one of the nicest fish I reckon I've had out of here. Just look at it. There's the other side to fish number eight. Gorgeous. Pristine, no damage. Beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Right, it's now 10 to 9. Um, I'm going to make a, I've still got 40 minutes left, but I'm going to make an end video now just before the light gets too low. Um, as it stands, I've had eight fish, but uh, depending on if I have any more fish, uh, that's how it stays. But if I do have more fish, I'll film them and you'll know how many I've had by then. But at the moment, it's eight fish. Um, had a good day, as you saw, that last fish was uh, a real beauty. The biggest I had today was probably about 16, all the rest were fairly small. But it doesn't matter, I've had a good day, it's been good fun. And uh, I thought I'd have a few more towards the end, so um, there's still 40 minutes left, I probably will have another one. Um, I'm hopeful. Them last uh, few fish have come off the left rod this time, so they've kind of moved from where I was originally getting fished out into that mid-water section where uh, they often start taking in the evening. Uh, and they've been on the pineapple wafters. So, um, yeah, it's been good fun. It's been good to get out. Uh, lovely day. Considering as yesterday it was weather warnings everywhere, heavy rain, uh, the weather really hasn't been as bad as it said it's meant to be. Um, but I do think today was meant to be the best day of the week. It's meant to start raining from now on. Um, so, yeah, I did good. So, uh, cheers for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you aren't already subscribed, subscribe and Find me on Facebook, Nothing But Fishing. So cheers for watching, and I'll see you again.